So what is beam hardening? To explain what it is, I'm going to use solid blue to represent monochromatic x-rays, the single energy x-rays. And I'm going to use rainbow colors to represent polychromatic x-rays. They have a range of energy. And the artifacts based on beam hardening comes from the difference between what we assume in the reconstruction calculation and what we actually do when we do experiments. The assumption we're making is, so you have a sample and you have monochromatic single energy x-rays coming in and they get absorbed by the sample and come out again as monochromatic single energy x-rays. This is the assumption we are making. But the reality is you have polychromatic x-rays coming in and higher energy x-rays can get through the sample better compared to lower energy x-rays. What that means is the energy distribution of those x-rays shift towards the higher side as they go through the sample. And high energy x-rays are also called hard x-rays. And you can say that the incoming polychromatic x-rays energy shifts towards the higher side as they go through the sample, which also means x-rays harden when they go through the sample. And that's where the term beam hardening comes from. And the artifacts that are caused by the beam hardening happen because assumption we're making in the calculation and the reality of the experiments we're doing are a little bit different. And it actually is not that important to understand why beam hardening happens or how artifacts appear, but it is important to know what they look like so that when you see one, you would recognize it as an artifact. So those four cross sections are models we're gonna use to do X-ray CT simulation. And the white areas represent high density areas that can often cause beam hardening artifacts. If you do CT scan for those cross sections, you're gonna get something like those. You can see that the model and the simulation look different and that's because the simulation has artifacts, like those streaks coming from the high density areas. It gets worse when you have multiple high density areas and you see shading like this one sometimes as well. So this is how beam hardening artifacts usually look like. And to reduce it, um, you can always increase the X-ray energy to reduce the beam hardening, but sometimes um, it's difficult to completely eliminate it. 